Hello guys, in this video we're gonna talk about German IT market again and today I will bring you much more numbers here. I will share with you different statistics about market. So let's start with general statistics, how happy people are with their relocation to Germany. 70% of people are totally happy with the choice they've made, 23% are still unsure and only 7% regret the choice that they've made. Speaking about myself, I am totally satisfied with my relocation to Germany. I am already here for seven years. I'm happy with career opportunities that I've got. Also, I like healthcare system and I also like that my children here have predictable future. But staying here for the time when I will retire, I don't plan to stay here. I will move somewhere else. Now let's deep dive into German IT market. And first of all, we will talk about German remote IT jobs. And first number for you, 93% of people who are working in tech industry, and mostly we are of course talking about software developers here, have possibility to work from home. But from the total amount of 100%, 53% have possibility for the full home office, meaning that this is a fully remote position without necessity to go to office. Around 30% have the like a hybrid schema, for example, three days they have to be in the office and two days they can work from home and the rest of people don't have such a brilliant possibility. And I guess this situation is the main achievement of the COVID pandemic. What are the most benefits from home office for German IT developers is of course location flexibility and no necessity to commute. A lot of people, around 70%, say that they manage to save up to two hours daily because of their home office possibility, including myself. What is also cool about Germany is that when you're working from home here, you can have tax reductions. They are not very large. For example, for me, it's around 350 euro that I get back from the Finansamt every year. And just to finish this section, I'm gonna answer one question which is frequently asked on my channel and everywhere in the internet. No, you cannot be an employee of German company and live outside Germany. This is not allowed by German laws. Now let's talk about software development and usage of AI. What is happening in Germany? Only 12% of people claim that they are using AI extensively when coding. Other people or use it very rarely or don't use it all. For example, in the company where I work, it's strictly not allowed to put anything, no code, no any sensitive information in any AI tool. And the only thing which adopted is GitHub Copilot. And according to statistics, 83% of software developers in Germany are pretty much sure that AI will not take over their jobs. I wouldn't be so sure because for me, Currently, AI is like new programming language, which gaining its momentum. And as any programming language, it will require pretty long and distant way of learning it. And the more time you neglect it, the more you fall behind as a professional. And how much software developers in Germany trust AI-generated code? Only 30% of them use AI-generated code to some extent. All other people don't use it at all. And now let's talk about why tech people in Germany changing their jobs. And I can immediately tell you that this happening because of salary and poor management. And 52% of people manage to find new position within three months. Another 30% I can say that they are something like searching for new position for six months. And 52% of software developers finding new jobs using their professional network or they are simply asking friends. Around 30% they are applying to the interested positions directly and only 13% use services of recruiters. And now let's briefly see the salaries statistics by technology. So here are the numbers. You can pause the video to study them in more detail. Generally, my feeling that those numbers are a little bit outdated and I think if you will multiply them by 15%, you will get exactly those salaries that we have now in the end of 2024. And for your convenience, here are the best and worst paid technologies ordered accordingly. I've got these numbers from Transparent IT Jobs Market Report prepared for germantechjobs.de. It's considered that this website made by developers for developers for helping them finding new jobs. Uh, it has all very comprehensive and easy to read design. And what is cool, this resource also have different uh, mirrors in different countries. For example, if you go to other countries and you can choose, for example, 
Switzerland here, you see the map, you see the salaries, you can filter everything by technology, by industry. This resource looks very promising, they have really big statistics base. I myself never applied for jobs using one of those resources, but if you have some experience with them, it will be very interesting to know it, so drop a comment down below. And if you want to know more information about IT German market, please watch one of the videos that you will see right now.